Hello everyone, this is Uning Liu. I am a GIS application specialist at Blue Marble Geographics. Today in this video, I will be introducing a really cool tool in Global Mapper to automatically extract trees from a point cloud dataset. In Global Mapper version 25.1, there is an updated point cloud automatic analysis tool that has a variety of functionalities to post process your point cloud in an automatic way. You will get meaningful and a portable output from those automatic tools, such as the classification tool, segmentation tool, and the extraction tool. It can be seen as a hub for point cloud automatic analysis, so like a factory to derive valuable information from a loaded point cloud data sets to generate meaningful output in different data types to represent your GIS uh, data. To demonstrate this, I have had a sample point cloud collected in a small neighborhood in California, United States, loaded into my workspace. Here, I can visualize the point cloud in different ways by changing the LiDAR draw mode from the drop-down menu. I can color LiDAR by RGB color if your original data points are attributed with RGB values. And also, I can color LiDAR by classification. So now I'm using the classification draw mode. This is actually the result after using the point cloud automatic classification tool in Global Mapper when I prepared this data set previously. To see which color represents which classes, I need a legend to show up. So we navigate to the view menu here and workspace layout options and click the map legend to turn it on. And I'll just select the display uh, legend based on loaded uh, layer types. And then we can see those classification legends are now showing up. We can see also those classified vegetation points, which are something we need to use for extraction, uh, extract tree features. So the extraction tool I'm going to show you in this video is in the automatic point cloud analysis tool as the classification tool. So looking at this tool dialog, we can see there are several sections in which some of parameters are used for both uh, processes, while some of them are used for either of the tools. So now the extraction tool lets the user derive vector data type of features, including points, lines, and polygons. Uh, in Global Mapper, the automatic tool can help extract features for something like the building footprints, building roof structures, and tree, like in this case, um, and power lines and other structures from classified point clouds. Yeah, so a point cloud that is classified is a, a prerequisite to further run this extraction tool. So just keep in mind. Uh, so in this example, I'm going to extract trees. I have those points, they are classified as vegetation, so now colored in uh, green already, uh, meaning I'm ready to go to run this extraction tool. Looking at our window, here are some uh, several parameters that are associated with this tool. First is the resolution setting. So to analyze, extract my point cloud. I want to make sure the setting will not be either too large or too small, possibly like a 15 centimeters to extract a standard tree in this case. Note that this setting should really depend on the density characteristic, the point spacing of your uh, point cloud. So you can find those informations by opening the metadata tool here. So as you can see, my uh, the point point spacing of my data set is roughly 0.1 meters. So I will just set uh, 0.0 meters in this case. 
for an extra case, uh, feel free to tweak around and to see what uh, what the appropriate setting for uh, you uh, is uh, for uh, for the most perfect output. All right, next one we have to set a bunch of shared settings shared between the extraction tool and the classification tool where user define how a feature should be measured in their point cloud data set. Since we are going to extract vegetation in this case, I will just focus on the vegetation section settings here. There are um, settings like min max uh, tree spread in diameter. I keep using the default settings since the trees in my uh, data sets are of standard sizes as usual tree models. Okay. So I'll just move on to the last uh, section, additional settings while a vegetation extraction tool is run. We check off this options, vegetation, to tell global member to run the extraction for uh, vegetation uh, features. Those resulting output will be point features extracting from my point cloud, and those points represent uh, individual trees. Um, we can also check this option to additionally create tree coverage polygons as a separate output layer. So uh, they will be useful if text like vegetation coverage calculation is involved in your project. And the third option, the third output option is mesh. So basically those vegetation point clouds will be constructed in a 3D mesh uh, surface object uh, format. So this option is something useful when a 3D object is needed as an output. Uh, for my demonstration, I'm now going to check to create a vegetation coverage polygon as an additional output. And I will just start to run the extraction tool by clicking the uh, extract uh, features at the very bottom here. Okay, so there should be two resulting uh, layers. One stores point features and the other one stores coverage polygon features. So we can now close uh, my original point cloud data layer, then turn on my terrain elevation data I generated from my uh, uh, ground points with the elevation grid creation tool in Global Mapper. And then uh, the location of each tree is now represented in a really straightforward way, rendered on top of my terrain layer. Let's see, we can take a look closer look at this extracted vector data. So if we use those, uh, if we use the feature info tool and click this uh, point, you can see a lot of attributes about approximate measurement information that are automatically stored there. For example, um, the elevation is measured at the base of the tree and the height of the tallest tree points in the uh, uh, canopy is attributed uh, as a height. And there are another uh, uh, other couple of, of uh, attributes like the tree, uh, tree spread the crown diameter measured in meters. Uh, this uh, attribute are also stored in each generated canopy coverage polygons. I believe uh, for those polygon, the crown estimates are radius actually here, measure, also measured in meters. All right. So this vector are really useful data users can further export externally in the shape file, DWG file, KMZ file, et cetera. It is especially great if your customers are asking for some GIS data, but not in a format uh, as large, complicated as a point cloud data set, for example. So extraction tool here is a re really great tool to help with this for you to prepare your GIS data and sharing with others. What is rather interesting is to look at this features in a 3D viewer. As I said, uh, building structure are also something Global Mapper has the ability to extract. So now I want to turn on my building feature layers, generating with the same extraction tool previously. 
And I have also, and I will just have all this extracted tool rendered on top of my terrain data in the 3D view to show my, uh, to show as a digital twin. I really love watching my data in various way like now. So they just look vast fascinating and I can capture screenshot if I need to and maybe attach them to my report. These are all data derived from my original point cloud data sets using the LiDAR tools in Global Mapper. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and will benefit from our tree extractions tool by integrating it with your current geospatial workflow. If you are interested in learning more about Global Mapper, please go to our website at bluemarblegeo.com or just send me an email to geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.